Hey everyone, uh, so in this video we're going to unbox the XPS 15. Um, I apologise in advance for the mess. I am currently in a um, moving stage, so I'm going to be moving very soon. So everything's just kind of everywhere, so my studio is not how it usually looks. So bear with, everything will be back to normal soon. But I thought I'd still get this unboxing video done because it's something that people want to see. I have a Dell pen here. Oh yeah, a Dell pen to open a Dell box. It's not the conventional way of doing an unboxing, but you know, I'm not a conventional channel. I'm doing multiple things on one channel, mate. You know, ugh, let's get in between those grooves. Let's get this unboxing underway. Oh yeah, look at that, we're making progress. All right, we're in. Pen. I forgot that this opens up like that. And you have two flaps here that if you lift up, it kind of pushes the laptop box up for you. I'll just take that out. I like how they've done this. This is a much more premium box than they used to sell all their products in. Heavy, I'm not gonna lie. Heavier than I was expecting it to be. So the specification I have here, full HD plus 10th generation i7 H series processor, 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte NVMe SSD, and a NVIDIA GTX 1650 Ti graphics card in here. Let's turn this around so you can have a look at it as it opens. That magnetic flap which I love voila they thought about everything man look you don't even have to reach in you just pull on this little tab and that pulls out your laptop let's put that aside and then you have your charging Oh, this isn't a charger, this is an adapter. That is pretty cool. Because you don't have the HDMI slot anymore on the machine, you've literally got a uh, USB-C micro SD card, no, an SD card slot, 3.5 mil jack, and then two USB-C ports over here and a Kensington lock. Because you don't have a HDMI slot, they've provided you with an adapter, which is really handy. And that's really nice of them. And this adapter is really, really nice because you get a USB Type-A and a HDMI port. And it's neat, it tucks away quite nicely. Look at that. Look at that, that just tucks away nicely. Power brick, user manual. Sorry, power brick. And then your wall plug-in over there. So that's everything inside the box. Underneath here, there's nothing pretty sure there's nothing no but it's in there quite tight yeah there's nothing else under there get this bad boy this is what a premium device is meant to feel like Aluminium outer shell and carbon fiber armrest. So the XPS 15 now has quad firing speakers. Oh, that feels lovely. They've machined these speakers, by the way. So these holes have been machined out. Uh, the trackpad is much larger. The Infinity Edge display is beautiful. It's just a beautiful looking device. Everything feels premium. This glass touchpad feels lovely to run your fingers past. Keyboard has a nice travel to it. I like it. I can see myself working with this. And again, I love the trackpad. The trackpad is a lovely size now. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. 
So, what I want to do now for you guys is actually get on with the battery testing. So, let's find out how it performs when you put it up against gaming, media consumption, and editing content. Hey everyone, this part of the video we're going to test out the XPS 15 and the XPS 17's battery life. Before I get into that though, I just want to tell you, on my channel I'm doing a giveaway at the moment. For the month of September, every single one of my subscribers has a chance of winning a £100 voucher. I'll be giving two of them away. Uh, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel. Please help the channel grow. I want to do more of these videos and I want to test more devices for you. Uh, I can only do that if the channel actually grows. And I'm going to be doing a bunch of give uh, giveaways. If my channel does get to 500 subscribers, I'm actually going to be giving away a next-gen console as well. If it gets to 1,000, I'll be giving away two next-gen consoles. So help support this channel grow and just hit that subscribe button. So let's get into it. How did the XPS 15 and the XPS 17 perform when it came to testing the batteries? So I tested it in three different criteria: Streaming content, playing games, and creating content. So when I say streaming content, I mean like Netflix and uh, Amazon Prime, Disney Plus, up to you, whatever you like to watch. So, the 15 really surprised me. Now, before I get into that though, uh, what, I want to do, what I want to do is give a quick mention about something that's been quite common in my comment section. It's, um, if you notice anything wrong with your Dell machine, if you bought a Dell machine and you notice something's wrong with it, you have 14 days to rectify it if you want, right? So, when I got my initial XPS 15, and I've done the battery test on it for the media consumption, it lasted 4 hours and 50 minutes. That means I was able to play Netflix constantly or continuously for 4 hours and 50 minutes. I knew something was wrong. This device is meant to have up to a 25 hour battery life and for it to die after 4 hours 50 minutes, I knew something was wrong. So I contacted them, they sent me a brand new one out and when I tested it this time around, I was shocked at the performance. I was expecting it to last probably about 10 hours, 12 hours max. However, when I ran the test on this machine, the battery on my tablet that was running the countdown timer actually died before the XPS 15 did. So I had to do some uh, clever maths, well it wasn't really clever, all I'd done was split the screen in half and then reverse the countdown timer and kept playing until um, the laptop turned off. But it got to the point where I started recording the video um, on day one in the evening, I think around 8 o'clock and then on day two i woke up in the morning and it was i believe it was like half 10 not when i woke up but when i went to check on the machine it was like half 10. the tablet had died but the laptop was still running so that means it had gone for almost 15 hours and the battery on the machine still said it had two and a half hours left to do so i was really impressed with the xps 15 battery life so i would say it can comfortably run content for 15 hours plus that's any long haul flight you're sorted xps 15 has you covered when it came to the xps 17 um, the version i had for this machine was the 4k uh, touchscreen display so performance was reduced dramatically so for this machine we had a performance of six hours and i believe 48 minutes uh, yeah so it ran for six hours 48 minutes which is still really good considering that it has a 4K display with a touchscreen. Now, the next test was gaming. Now, a comment that I got quite frequently is that these machines aren't good for gaming and that the frame rates are really bad and it, it just creates a very negative view. Now, remember this. These devices aren't made for gaming. They're made for content consumption and content creation, right? However, when you do game, you should always plug your laptop in to a power supply. This way you get the full performance. When you unplug it from a power supply, you get a very, very reduced performance, right? So remember, if you're gaming, plug it into a power supply, but for the battery test, I want you to see how long it can last gaming on the XPS 17, considering it has the RTX graphics card in there and it has the 4K display. I got one hour, well, it was pretty much almost two hours. It was one hour, 50, 58 minutes that I've got out of that machine. Whilst gaming. On the XPS 15, the device got 5 hours and 12 minutes in gaming. Now, the performance for these games were ample. Remember, you can't play games like uh, Call of Duty Warzone or uh, Apex Legends whilst it's running on battery power. The frame rates just won't be enough for you to actually win a game. 
You can play those games over there, don't get me wrong. All you have to do though is make sure you've got the Tower Supply plugged in. Now, media content creation points. Now, what I'm going to have to do, because I'm not sure what the numbers are going to be, because I'm recording this ahead of actually editing it. So what I'll do, I'll put the XPS 15 number up there, and I'll put the XPS 17 one times down here. But I'm sure it's going to be impressive. The XPS 15 has really, really surprised me. So that's the battery test on the XPS 15 and 17. Now, the reason why the XPS 15 and the 17 perform great when it comes to battery testing is the fact that they use innovative technology within their machine. Not only that, they've got a very, very, well, it's space technology, basically. Um, they've got something called gore thermals inside the machine. This is a piece of material that's actually used on the Mars rover. It's a very um, clever heat insulation. The way it conducts heat, or the lack of conducting of the heat, is freaking awesome. I'll put a video here to give you an example. So on the right side, there's the crayon with the... Um, the gore thermals insulation underneath and on the left there's no gore thermal insulation and you can see the effectiveness of the actual insulation now that insulation is inside your xps 15. now if that's not impressive enough i don't know what else can impress you when it comes to freaking keeping your device cool one thing i want to mention before i sign off is the fact that the xps range is one of the most sustainable products you can buy on the market right now what i mean by that is the fact that dell are actually offsetting their carbon footprint the entire packaging of the XPS range is made out of recycled material and even the device itself is made up from majority recycled material. So this is actually a device that really cares for the earth at the same time provides you innovation and performance all in one sleek, elegant luxury package. Now I'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button to help this channel grow. I want to make more technology videos for you guys, more automotive videos and more gaming content. Um, so please do support the channel by hitting that subscribe button and if there is a device that you want me to test the battery life on or anything any form of testing that you want me to do on the machines just let me know in the comment section below i hope you have a good day and i hope to see you at the end of september to do my giveaway with you all remember the only way you get into the giveaway is by being subscribed to the youtube channel and if you want you can join me on my twitter or my instagram so I can actually connect your YouTube channel and contact you if you are the winner of my giveaway. So, till the next time, peace.